We are the Lockwoods, and we're traveling the world to experience up close and in person all the natural wonders and distinct cultures that our kids would otherwise see only in textbooks and TV. El Nido isn't just one of the most popular destinations in the Philippines, it's also one of the most beautiful spots on the planet. So we're leaving our beachfront glamping tent for the day and heading out in search of adventure amongst the surrounding islands. But with so many hidden treasures to explore, which will be the most memorable? Let's get to it. The island hopping tour is private, but our ride to get to that tour is shared. And we're kind of under the gun here because apparently we're sharing it with somebody who's trying to get to the airport and they need to leave it a little bit early. So we're rushing to get to the van. All righty. Bumpy ride. Woohoo! Bumpy, bumpy ride. We have a short walk to the beach, but most of our stuff is being carried by our two guides, Mark Davin, aka Bon Bon, and Aysen. Hello. Hello guys, good morning. Welcome to my vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we've already lost Aaron in Brooklyn to the short form gods. We're getting fitted for masks and shoes and snorkel to, to, to protect us so we can see underwater, all the equipment we're gonna need for the day. And then I can't wait to get started. The shoes specifically are to protect our feet against sea urchin and jellyfish, sharp rocks. And here is our boat. She is the Princess Nicole V6, V.6, version six. Oh. Welcome aboard. The life vests are mandatory for the Coast Guard's eye as we leave, and then... Don't tell people we're gonna cheat. I don't think it's cheating. The water seems really calm. We're all good swimmers. Actually, we're not, but everybody else is. Cool, you ready to get wet, buddy? Uh, yeah. The water actually feels really good when I got it halfway. Pretty warm, huh? But yeah. it's like perfect because I'm really hot right now and humid, and then when I get in the water, I'll be a little colder, and it'll be so refreshing, not even cold. It's so true, even though the water is really warm, it's the breeze you get being wet when you come out that is the most refreshing part when it's really a hot day, and it's a hot day. El Nido is about 45 islands. We're gonna see at least five of them today. And this whole area is considered a nature reserve, and several areas are turtle sanctuaries too. So no plastics, no plastics. We have the kayak. This is called Big Lagoon. This is Mini Lock Island. Mini Lock means many lagoons. And we're gonna we're gonna go into Big Lagoon, but we need to kayak there because it's too shallow for these boats to make it back there. Bud, you're gonna have to get us started, okay? It's actually nice with the backpack. It's like a seat back for me. It just supports me and I get to sit up. Hey babe. The water is so turquoise and crystal clear. I can put my paddle down so, so far and still see it so, so clearly. Love these waters. So pretty. Don't forget to look up. And don't forget to look down. So we went from about three feet deep back there to about 80 feet deep right here. So much darker water. It actually looks like a cenote because it's still very clear, beautiful water, but it's so deep it looks darker. All these cliffs really remind me of our Pauline Houseboats episode where we lived on Carone Island for about a week. And obviously, I mean, it's a stone's throw to Carone from where we are right now. So that's logical. But, oh, it's nice to be back. It's so cool here. It's so great out here. <laughs> but we also really want to jump into the water so badly. It looks really refreshing. But they said we have to go up here farther. So let's keep paddling. The guys just went into this little tunnel. So we're going to see if we can get in here too. Oof, it's tight fit. It's a very tight fit here. There we go. Good job, buddy. Excellent navigating, Colt. Well done. Now we should note that when we booked this, they said you really don't have to worry about any of these places being particularly busy because the captains do a good job of coordinating with one another to make sure that there's not too much overlap. Um, and not complaining, like this is great. We're just paddling around and the water is beautiful, but I would call this somewhat busy, somewhat crowded. This is another one of those hidden gems that's not so hidden or secret, but it is worth coming and seeing this, especially in that cave. I felt like, because you can only really go one at a time in single file, so it felt like we had the whole cave to ourselves. 
And I don't know if you could hear it, but our guides were singing, so we felt serenaded. <laughs> all right, I guess we might as well all get in, huh? This crowd is our cue to go, although maybe the rain clouds up there are also. We gotta get out of here. We got more spots to hit before it starts raining, hopefully. Man, my arms are tired. That workout was worth it. Now the rain is normal this time of year, so it'll pretty much come and go, but this is considered the rainy season. Now we've got a 10 minute boat ride to our next little stop. Stop number two is the same island, but a different lagoon. This one's called Secret Lagoon, not because nobody knows about it, obviously, but because you have to go through a little tunnel to get to it. So we've got a little trek. We gotta get going fast because a line is starting to form. The, the later you go in the day, the more crowded it is, and you can only go in pretty much one at a time. So let's go. We gotta get in line here. Look at that dog, I think he's fishing. He's like staring into the water, waiting for a fish to come and he's gonna grab yeah, it. Yeah. It's one at a time and we have to watch our head. These rocks are pretty sharp. Ooh. Watch your head, sweetheart. Don't lift it up. Oh, it's cold. Uh-oh, Brooklyn's not gonna like that. Is this the exit also? Yeah. <laughs> This water is really cold, so it's a mixture of the salt water on that side and fresh water over here. The big contrast in temperature. Don't forget to look up. It's amazing! Cold, sweetheart? Oh, awesome. This is a really cool yeah. cave. I'm glad that we came here, but the water isn't blue or clear. It's very gray and opaque. Uh, it's also chilly, chilly water. And uh, so there's not a whole lot to see once you're in here. It just looks really cool. It looks, looks like you're in a bat cave and we're ready to go. Yeah, we're ready to go. Our guys just told us there's three kinds of water in here. There's 70 something percent salt water, 20 something percent of fresh water, and 5% human. 5%, that's not bad. I think swimming pools are like eight. Mark Rover did an episode on the swimming pool pee rope. All right, on to the next one. We're parking at Simisu Island. Simiso. Simiso. Simiso, yeah. Simiso. Simiso. Am I saying it Simiso? Yeah. Simiso Island, and it means clear water in Japanese. But there's a secondary legend for how it got its name, and this one goes back to a Japanese woman diver who got stuck in some of the underwater tunnels going in through here, ran out of air in her tanks, and died. Her name? Simiso. This is our lunch spot, our picnic on the beach, and right now it's private. So we have this log, our dining table, and we had to order ahead of time from our resort what we were gonna have for lunch. So we all have the same thing. It's rice, fried chicken, some corn, uh, and then just different sauces. The kids have gravy, and this is teriyaki. So we're gonna re-energize and then head to the next spot, which is actually not far. Our yummy lunch, it was made by Knock Pond Beach Glamping, and if you wanna see that resort and what beach glamping is all about, then check out our previous episode. We show you the resort, the tent, the restaurant, the whole bit. But we've gotta get back on the boat because now we're gonna go snorkeling. We're gonna see what's under the water now. We're at Twin Islands, and they call it Twin Islands because these two towering rocks are actually connected to each other. When it's low tide, you can see where they're connected on the bottom, it gets really shallow there. So that's why they're twins, holding hands. But we're gonna head underwater and do some snorkeling. Wow, that was so, so beautiful under there. The Philippines has the best snorkeling that we have ever seen, and we've been around. But every time we come to the Philippines, every time there's a snorkel spot, I am blown away, and I think that I could spend hours under there. Colt could probably spend hours under there with me. We were definitely the last to get out of the water. Yes, so many fish down there. Like, that was a real wildlife refuge. Also quite a bit of rain, so glad that we're probably getting to the end of that right now, but I think it is time for us to head back. 
We've got one more adventure coming up here that's gonna be hopefully the most epic. It's a new day, we have new outfits, and we have new El Nido adventures. And our adventures are gonna start way up this hill. It's a paved road, but it's too steep of a road for our van to make it up here. That's why we're walking. And if there's one thing the kids love to do, it's walk. Look at you guys. This reminds me of the Ninja Village when we did that that tilted room. You know it's gonna be a really good day when you start off with that burning butt workout feeling. Wait a minute, what's going on here? Our trucks couldn't make it up. Brooklyn may not be a big fan of hiking and climbing, but when she does, she almost always finishes first. I'll go on the zip line first. We are going to zip line, but first a little poll. Who in this family has ever been zip lining before? Show of hands. Just the Ninja yeah. Village count? Nope, no, Colt zip lined in Bali. I'm the only one who zip lined. So we're going from being in the water to above the water. We're gonna go from one island to another, although it looks like the water level is low enough right now that technically these two bodies of land are connected. How do we get back after we zip line? I didn't think that far ahead, I don't know. This wasn't something we could book in advance. It's first come, first serve. It looks like we're first because we got here right when it opens at 9 a.m. Hello. Good morning. So if we do one way, how do we get back over here? You will take the two ways, sir. You will do zip line twice. Uh -huh. So from the landing area, sir, you need to walk up hill first. And then that is 120 steps okay. before doing the other zip line, sir, and going down. You want to zip line down and then line. walk back? Or is it, so you want to climb. Over there, you're going to have to climb. So either way, we're climbing it now. Okay, I guess we're doing two way. You going to go first, babe? <laughs> I'm really, really nervous about these kids. Uh, I'm sure it's super safe because uh, they do this all the time. But when it comes to your babies, it never feels good. I feel so nervous, like my stomach is turning. Oh my God, it's gonna be harder to watch them go than to do it myself. Uh, excuse me. Before you make it to the end, just put your head on like this and pick up your knees like this. One, two, three. Oh my god, it's so cool! Oh my god, this is the coolest thing ever! I'm so high! I think I'm stuck! Yeah, I think I'm stuck! I'm going back. I'm going back. Hello, brother. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Uh, I'm also yeah. stuck, and it's kind of scary. I got stuck. That was one of the coolest things I've ever done. I got stuck. Oh my god, I hope they're having fun. I hope they're having fun. Now I feel better knowing that they're safe, this is working. I just hope they're having a good time. Brooklyn asked me if she could swear. Nobody can hear, so I say go for it. <laughs> okay, our turn. The view you get up there and the, the wind under you, it was awesome. I loved it. I could do that over and over and over. Well, good, because you get to do it again now. One more time. After a, a little bit of a climb. Oh, let's go to the next one. It's it's like 140 steps to the next one. Is that right? 120 steps to the next one. You got this, baby. Almost there. Hey, guys, can I go first? Right, Round two, we're going again. Still nervous for them. Now we're gonna go sitting, so if you're gonna turn to sideways, it's normal, okay? Okay, this one's for Knox. So what are we gonna go with on a zip line? So always keep like that, okay? Ready? One, two, and three. Oh, he looks so tiny. 
He's just a little dot down there. So, all right, Brooklyn. Brooklyn, let me hold on to that for a sec. Watch your head behind you. Any last words of inspiration for the rest of us or anybody else considering coming here and doing this experience? Do it. Will they regret it? If they fall and die, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I see I see Colt right there and he's stuck. I think that's it. Yeah, because it's like moving and it's like on the wire. He just doesn't have any luck. I wonder if that means I'm going to get stuck too. Ready, one, two, and three. Love you, sweetheart! Oh, I think I'm stuck. Hello. Notice I'm not gonna die. I have been rescued. Yay. How fun. What an adventure. And guess what? It's a school day. And this is what we're doing. This is what their classroom looks like. They're so lucky. What school subject would you say this one is? Geology, science, physics. And culture, social studies. I love this. I love this life, adventure. Always ready, one, two, and... She's crazy. All right, Big Daddy's turn. Which one did you like better, the first one or the second one? Uh, first one. First one because it was longer. Yeah. I think I like the second one better. Sitting upright, you could actually see more. I felt like I got more view, better visual effects. Okay, back where we started, but now we have a downhill climb instead of an uphill climb. So we're actually gonna go down here. Whew, still out of breath. We're gonna end up at the beach. So beautiful. We made it, here's the beach. Colt went straight to the water. That actually didn't take very much time. I think from very start to very end, it's been less than an hour. About 50 minutes to do both of the, the zip lines. Brittle star, it's like a little, it's a mixture of an octopus and a sea star. It's a sea star with the flexibility and energy of a starfish because they are very brittle. Colt said that he saw a turtle while he was zip lining, and I'm not surprised because this is known as a turtle sanctuary. So many different turtle sanctuaries all over El Nido, but it's also named after that. El Nido translates to the nest, meaning the turtle nest. And that's why you'll see so many turtles here. And Colt says he found something else too. What'd you find, bud? I found what I believe to be a gumboot. A gumboot is like a sea slug. Uh -huh. Feel that? Yeah, it's rough on top. He's got his foot <gasps> on the bottom. And that's how he moves around. It's like a little suction cup. Like that's you know, like a his hermit. whole body. I learned from him. I love that. Here. I have a feeling I'm always gonna be learning from him. We're gonna sit down and have a little something to drink because I think we've all earned it. That was a great way to explore El Nido. I'm glad we finally made it back to Palawan and be able to compare and contrast this with Corona Island. It's really like a completely different trip, to be honest with you. But between island hopping and zip lining, I would have to say I would prefer to do the island hopping again, mainly because it means we can get in the water and cool off. But what do you guys think? What do you think, babe? It's so hard to say because I love, love, love the snorkeling in the Philippines. It's really out of this world. If you like to snorkel and you haven't been in the Philippines, it's going to blow your mind. So get here. Uh, but the zip lining was so cool. And it was different and unique. Like we've done island hopping in a lot of other countries as well. But zip lining, that was my first real zip lining, except for this epic failure I had at a children's ninja village. <laughs> what about you, babe? Would you rather do the island hopping or the zip lining? Zip lining. Colt, you said island hopping, why? Uh, because the snorkeling is so amazing to see like the lobsters, everything. The crabs, I, you can find cool stuff too. Like, like money, I found money, 10 pesos. Treasure! <laughs> well, we still have so much more to do in the Philippines. We have about 6,990 islands left to explore here, uh, but we're off to another big city come tomorrow. So stick with us, make sure you subscribe, 
We've got that meet and greet with mom duty coming up here. So be sure to go to abcmd.club so that you can pre-register and then we'll send you details on when and where that's going to be in BGC. And we've got to get back in touch with our realtor to get an update on our apartment shopping situation for BGC because we're going to need a place to live come January. So stick with us. You'll see where we end up. Hopefully it's next door to the Ocampos at Mom Duty. And so many other adventures in between. We are headed to Malaysia. We're gonna do a little stop at an iconic US city. And then we are going on a three week African safari. And we cannot wait to show you everything. To clarify, that iconic US city is not in Malaysia. It's gonna be a separate trip. What's that? We are going to Malaysia to visit an iconic US city. Was that not clear? Anyway, subscribe, we love you. We'll see you in the next episode. Give me your microphone first. I can't get my jacket off. <laughs> hey. I love you, honey. I hope this so is always fun. like that, okay? I'm gonna die. Not gonna die. I am going to die. Shh, Stretch your leg. Don't get scared. Stretch your leg. Hey, so um, I'm safe. Oh, and my legs are also asleep because like of the stuff. So. Yeah. Uh, what do I look like when I'm like on? Oh, I see somebody going down.